Hey everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the problem effect of anti pimples, which is a part of this recent contest of code forces round 902. So in this question we will be given an array and initially all elements are white. Now um, there is a lady, she will choose one or more different indices and color the elements at those chosen indices black. So what it means to say that uh, we will be given an array, like this is a given array. Then uh, C will choose one or more different indices, like if you are choosing this one and this one. Then color that elements at those chosen indices with black. So initially all were white. And now after choosing these two, this will be black and this will be black. This is the uh, first task which C is performing. After that, she will choose all white elements. She will choose all white elements whose indices are multiples of index of at least one black element and color those elements in green. So we have three colors, white, black, green. Initially, all elements are with color with white. Then uh, she will choose one or more different indices and will color th those all elements with black color, right? After that, she will choose all white indices, all white indices whose indices are multiples of index of at least one black element and color those elements with green color. So after performing this whole task, uh, her score is the maximum value of AI out of all black and green elements. So like if I um, take an example, so this is given array. This is 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th element. Now if initially see choosing uh, this one and this one. So initially all were white. After choosing these two, she will color uh, with black these two, right? Then after that, she will choose all white indices whose indices are multiple of or uh, any uh, whose indices are multiples of index of at least one black element. What it means to say that we will choose all white elements whose indices is multiple of either two or three. So if you are choosing x index, then x percent to equal to zero, either this should be true or either this should be true, right? Because we want to take the multiple of uh, either these two, right? So what we can choose, uh, we can choose this one, we can choose this one, we can choose this one. Uh, 4 is multiple of 2, 6 is multiple of both, and 8 is multiple of uh, 8 on 2. And if we insert again 9 also, then this will be also colored by because this is multiple of 3, right? So if I am adding this one, so uh, one minute. Okay, so if I am adding this one, then uh, this one, this one, then fourth, then sixth, then eighth, and then ninth. These three, uh, these three plus three, there are total six elements which have colored either black or green. So we want to choose uh, the maximum uh, in between these all six. And the maximum value will be our final uh, score of uh, this. Uh, her her score is the maximum value of AI out of all black and green elements. Now this is not the uh, thing which we have to do. Uh, we have some other thing that uh, there are total 2 to the power n minus 1 ways for her to choose the black indices. Right? Why? Uh, just suppose that we have total 4 uh, element initially. Then we can choose either this one. Not choosing this. Either this one. Oh, that can be a probability like this one like one is trying to say that uh, we are choosing that one and zero is saying that we are not choosing that one right so how many numbers can be possible like if uh, can I simply say that uh, all numbers having uh, four bits so that will be from zero 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 to one 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 that is equal to to the power n. but is it true not why because uh, she need to choose, she must choose one or more different indices. So that is not true. So that's why we are give, uh, subtracting one from that. So there are total to the power n minus one ways for her to choose the black indices. And we need to find the sum of scores for all possible ways that she can choose the black indices. So as you know that there will be total to the power n minus one ways. 
so we need to find so like for a particular way there will be a particular score so for all ways we need to find the sum of total scores and that we need to print right so i guess uh, the equation is clear to all of you now uh, just try to understand that what is the actual approach which is uh, going behind this question that uh, i'm again choosing an array i'm not writing the element i'm just writing the indices of that 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 right so in this one uh, like uh, what can be the possible ways mm, i can say that i'm just choosing this one that can be a way right so in that way if i'm choosing this one as a black indices uh, as a uh, black element then uh, how many indices will be colored with green color mm, all indices why because for our indices x modulo 1 that is 0 so we have to color all elements with green color so this will be colored with green this will be this will be this 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 all will be colored with green so in this case uh, we will get a particular maximum and that will be the score of this uh, this possible way right then instead of that uh, we can choose this as a black element from this way uh, can i say that uh, this will be a green this is a green element this is a green these four are the elements which have color either black or green and we have to take the maximum uh, among these all four and that will be the score of this way right after that if i am choosing this one as a black element then this can be a green and this can be a green right so we have to choose um, maximum among these three and that will be the score of this possible way right so just like this one um, there can be total nine number of ways in which we are choosing just one element as a black element in which we are choosing just one element as a black element and we are getting some particular score from uh, that particular way right so i can say that we are choosing uh, we will get mx1 mx2 mx3 till mx9 okay now after that just tell me that if I am choosing uh, second indices and fifth indices as a black element, right? I am choosing these two as a black, black element. Then, uh, what will be the numbers which will be covered, uh, colored with green? So, from two, I can say that four will be colored, six will be colored, eight will be colored, and if there are more numbers, then ten will be also colored. Twelve, like this, uh, just like this one. In the case of five, um, uh, five will be all five already uh, already colored. Then ten will be colored. Uh, if fifteen is there, then fifteen will be also colored. So I'm assuming that there are total fifteen uh, elements. So in this one, I am adding fourteen also, right? So these are the total numbers which will be colored with green color. If we are choosing two and uh, second and fifth element as a uh, black element, right? So now tell me that in this particular way, what will be the maximum element? I'm just uh, with condition that I'm before and I'm telling that if you are choosing only second element as your black element, then you will get MX2 as your maximum element. And second thing is that if you are choosing only fifth element as your uh, black element, in that condition you are getting MX5 as your next element i'm giving you uh, these both values after that tell me that what will be the maximum value among these all elements can i say that will be the maximum in mx2 and mx5 is it right what i want to say that mx2 is the maximum value if you are choosing only second element as a black element and mx5 is the maximum value if you are choosing only fifth element as a maximum element. So if you are choosing both second and fifth as a maximum element, then what will be the maximum value? That will be maximum in between these two only. Right? So that is the approach which uh, we are uh, we are going to apply uh, to this question. What? 
that uh, if you are choosing first element, third element, seventh, ninth as your black element. So in that condition, the answer will be mx1, mx1 in mx1, mx3, mx7 and mx9. Right? So uh, like if I am telling you that anyhow you will be able to find the mx1, mx2 till mx9. Like uh, I will uh, discuss the approach like how we are going to uh, draw this all but uh, just assume that you are getting this all anyhow so mx uh, that will be 9 so after that uh, so now our target is to uh, find out that how we are going to calculate like there can be multiple ways like as you know that there is total to the power n ways so how we are going to calculate the total uh, scores for every way like we cannot add it for every way right that is right so for this instead of thinking like uh, that for a particular way what will be the maximum value instead of thinking like this we should think that this particular value this value uh, for how many number of ways this value will be the maximum value like if you are trying to uh, approach the equation just like this one that there is a particular value like if i am telling you mx3 then how many number of ways will be there for that this mx3 will be your score right this is the uh, thing according to which we are going to think now uh, like i am choosing an equal to 5 for a short uh, calculation now we have mx1 mx2 mx3 mx4 and mx5 right now um, like your task is to find out that uh, oh, this mx3 uh, for how many number of, number of ways this mx3 will be maximum then for how many number of ways this will be a maximum for, this will be maximum this will be maximum and this will be maximum like if i tell you that uh, for a number of a1 number of ways uh, this will be maximum for a2 number of ways this will be a3 this will be a4 this will be a5 this will be then what will be your final answer that will be a1 into mx1 plus a2 into mx2 plus a3 into mx3 till a5 into mx5 right right so this will be your final answer now the uh, only confusion that how we are going to calculate the number of ways for a particular value so now tell me that if i sort this uh, these all five values if i sort these all five values like initially think that it is uh, mx1 is 2 mx2 is 4 mx3 is uh, 3 mx4 is 4 mx5 is 7 so now if i sort it 7 4 4 3 2 then can i say that this is mx5 this is 2 this is um, 4 this is 3 and this is 1 then can i say that uh, if i'm choosing fifth as one of our black element if i choosing fifth as one of our black element and uh, like whatever the uh, there are total four um, remaining elements what are the number of elements which uh, we will be choosing as a black element for all those numbers of the number of ways, 7 will be the maximum value. Is it right? What I want to say that if you are choosing fifth element as your black element, you are choosing one of the element of black element as this fifth, and there can be multiple black element and that can be among these all. So, like uh, just think that I am choosing fifth element, second element, and third element as your black element then in this one what will be your final what will be your final answer that will be maximum in 7 um, comma 4 comma 3 that is 7 so what i want to say that if you are choosing this one that any uh, like anyhow you are choosing these all numbers for all those ways 7 will, will be your final answer so can i say 
that there are total four numbers so total to the power four will be the uh, possibilities uh, for choosing these four like uh, there can be condition that we are cho not choosing anyone there can be condition that we are choosing all numbers so there will be total to the power four conditions so for uh, getting seven as your maximum element there will be total to the power four ways is it clear to you right for choosing seven as your maximum element there will be total to the power four ways why because if you are choosing a way in which fifth is uh, fifth element is one of the black element then we are a hundred percent sure that seven will, will be your final answer why do you know seven is the maximum among these holes so that is for seven now if you are choosing this one four then can i say that uh, uh, choose among these three any number of uh, black element that will be in those old ways four will be your answer you cannot choose this one if you are choosing this one then seven will be, will be your final score but if you are choosing this and along with this you are choosing any among these like you can choose uh, you, we are not choosing anyone and there can be possible that you are choosing all so in that condition to the power 8 so for choosing this four there will be to the power 8 ways similar for next for choosing this one there will be to the power 4 there's choosing for this one there will be to the power uh, 4 3 2 uh, to the power uh, 2 and for this one to the power 1 so 4 3 2 so this is 3 to the power 2 and to the power 1 and to the power 0 this is the number of which uh, in which we the 7 is possible in which 4 is uh, 3 and 2 so what will be your final answer that uh, sort your maximum the maximum vector and multiply it first value with like as you can see that there, there are total five elements so we are uh, multiplying that initially with uh, mx of i will be multiplied with to the power um so what i can say that uh, n minus i minus one is it right initially i will be zero so mx zero will be multiplied with to the power n minus 1 that is 5 minus 1 that is 4 then this will be 3 then this will be 2 1 0 and this will be 1 2 3 4 right so this is the final uh, solution for this question uh, let's go for the code so like in this question what i'm going to do that uh, there is the confusion that how we are going to calculate the maximum vector so for that we can simply iterate a loop uh, for a particular i we can iterate uh, like we can jump i times so what is the time complexity for this code that is n log n right so in using n log n time complexity we can simply uh, get our maximum vector in, in this i element is pointing to the score which we will get choosing i element as our black element right then i will uh, sort that according to decreasing order then our final sum we will add the value max like this is the function and this is the actual function in which i am uh, to the power x is there multiplying that with the value which is maximum in this one so maximum uh, this maximum i is multiplied with to the power n minus 1 minus i and the, the total sum of these all scores will be your final answer so you will get the code in the description you can check there uh, see you in the next problem till then happy coding bye bye